Hiya! Welcome back to An Artist Travels. My name is Nikki. I'm doing a Right Like Maya Angelou vlog. That's it. That's what we're doing. Good morning everyone. Okay, so I thought I would just, I don't know what I thought I would do. I just turned the camera on. <laughs> oh, I wanted to let you know Maya Angelou's routine so you know what I'm following today. It would be helpful if I actually pulled the routine up, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> can you tell how early it is? Here we go, it's super detailed. I usually get up at about 5.30 and I'm ready to have coffee by 6, usually with my husband. He goes off to his work around 6.30 and I go off to mine. I keep a hotel room in which I do my work. A tiny mean room with just a bed and sometimes, if I can find it, a face basin. I keep a dictionary, a bible, a deck of cards and a bottle of sherry in the room. I try to get there around 7 and I work until 2 in the afternoon. If the work is going badly, I stay until 12.30. If it's going well, I'll stay as long as it's going well. It's lonely and it's marvellous. I edit while I'm working. When I come home at 2, I read over what I've written that day and then try to put it out of my mind. I shower, prepare dinner so that when my husband comes home, I'm not totally absorbed in my work. We have a semblance of a normal life. We have a drink together and have dinner. Maybe after dinner, I'll read to him what I've written that day. He doesn't comment. I don't invite comments from anyone but my editor, but hearing it aloud is good. Sometimes I hear the dissonance. Then I try to straighten it out in the morning. Cool. What I quite like about this routine, it's really structured. I like it. Every day she wakes up at 5.30. She, you know, like grabs a coffee with her husband from 5.30 to 6.30. He goes off to work. She travels to a hotel room, which she keeps specifically for writing. It sounds like she tries very hard not to be distracted because it's, she says it's a small, mean room with just a face base in it. She can find it. She keeps some items by her desk. Um, and then she'll either work to 2 or to 12.30 if the work is not going good. That's what we're going to do today. Oh, I'm making tofu. No. I've kind of done the morning routine, so I do not have a husband yet. <laughs> so instead of having coffee with my husband, I had coffee with the closest um, one to me. God. So I had my prayer time, read my Bible... It's, um, it was like an online Bible study. This is YouTubers who post online Bible studies, like Bible study with me. And I really like them every now and then. So I did that. And then what I did, I mean, that's it mainly. Oh, and I did have coffee. I'm not the biggest coffee person, but for the sake of following this routine, coffee it is. I don't have a dictionary, but you know, we're writing in different times. I can always pull up a dictionary on my laptop if need be. Um, I left these two incredible dictionaries at my parents' place when I moved out because it'd been a while since I'd fully used them. Okay, so one thing to mention is that Maya Angelou edits while she's working. So interesting. I typically do not do that. However, as what I'm literally doing the majority of the day is editing, that is fine and that works because there's you know as i said there's one chapter that i need to write but i will also be editing other chapters so we're sticking to that pretty well it's going well it's going well so far hello update i am still here we're we're in the room um i just got up to get myself a quick snack because i was hungry um i don't know why i was hungry because i had breakfast but i just got some apples and peanut butter it's about 8 45 um the, the thing is like when i wake up early i still get hungry at later on at breakfast <laughs> so even if i wake up at five and let's say i eat at six i will probably get hungry around nine or like ten i'm still like okay second breakfast what about second breakfast but yeah it's going well i've been doing a lot of rereading at the moment i just grabbed oh this book here how to pray by c.s lewis because um there's like a really cool chapter in here 
that I would like to read and yeah it's going well I've been doing lots of rewriting I I was gonna say I might be able to finish this today oh my gosh I haven't even said what I'm doing so two projects my main project is the memoir today but also I'd like to do some play editing um we've only got a few chapters of this memoir to finish editing should i count let's say okay six chapters five of which need to be edited and one of which just needs to be written because i had an idea for a new chapter that i'm gonna put in um yeah and then the play so i finished editing act two it's a three act play um act one I'm more or less happy with, but I do need to go through and edit it. And in act three, again, a lot of it I'm happy with, but I need to go through and edit it. And I think it will take a while because there's some bits that actually need some extensive work, or more extensive work done. So yeah, just five chapters to edit in this play, I mean, in this memoir, and then whole acts to edit in the play. But I'm happy. Yes, let me continue with the work. Bye. so handy having a bible right next to me because i need to quote something from john 15 but i don't know the verse so let's find it john 15 matthew mark luke john 15 okay done nice and quick it's quite nice physically turning to the book I'm going to sound like such a young person, but it's so nice to literally turning to the book for information. Um, it's just making me think, I'm just really reminiscing upon my old dictionaries. And it's become so easy to Google a definition whenever I want, which is great. Uh, you know, that's amazing. I'm glad we have that, um, you know, opportunity. I'm not complaining. It just makes me think I'd love to have my physical dictionaries again. Um, and have that satisfaction of turning the page, finding the word, reading a whole long definition physically. It's something different. It's a different thing, you know. Yes. Okay, we did this chapter. That's one out of those five done. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Oh, gosh. I started that yesterday, man. No. So... This writing experiment is already cementing, I think, the way I've worked in the past, which is I can work very well under deadlines, right? I'm very productive under a deadline. Um, the flip side is what I'm finding right now is that I can faff around for a bit and then when the deadline approaches, I'm like, go, 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 and I get it done in a shorter period of time. Um, so I'm clearly at the faff around stage right now. I think it's around 11. I just know around 12 when I'm like, I've got two hours left. I'm going to be like, bang, 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 get the chapters done. Um, but I've done, I've done some more. I think I've done like another chapter since I last updated you. It's not even at 11, it's 10.46. My goodness. Maya, please explain. Today it is 12 p.m. Two more hours to go. It's going all right. My concentration though... <sighs> I'm not fully satisfied with my level of concentration today. However, however, I did have this point at 2.46 <laughs> where I realised that actually, or not 2.46, anyway, there was this point that I realised that, oh, okay, even though my concentration isn't exactly where I want it to be, I've been working for two hours consistently and that is all that I did yesterday. <laughs> I don't know like yesterday was so weird I worked for like two hours and 40 minutes and I just I just I, I just read and I, I, I don't know what was happening yesterday so at least that was something positive I thought okay it's early in the morning and I've I've done as much as I did yesterday basically throughout the whole day and it's not even 11 a.m yet so that was a really nice thing um so I've discovered something which I feel like so many writers are going to be like I use that all the time. Um, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy looking at the screen, which was part of yesterday as well. I just felt so dizzy, I don't know why. So, I've discovered the read aloud function on Word. I know that there's places that do that for you, but I, I never really wanted to use a separate software. But I found that Word does it. If anyone's curious as to how Word does it, let me show you. But let me just show you real quick. So, you see here where it says um, review. If you click review and then you go to read aloud, it will just, I mean, there's nothing here on the document right now, but you know, let's say I typed in, hello. 
Hello, please read aloud these words. Hey, so you have to highlight the words and then I'll read it out for you. And then if you click home up here, um, you probably know this one already, but in the corner there's the dictate button. Hello, my name is Nicole and I am here to dictate words to you. <laughs> Just wrote, wah. <laughs> it's a little bit slow, but it doesn't really matter because by the time it's done, it's done. I love it. I'm excited. So I think the chapter I want to write, I'm going to dictate it's still dictating um just because that way i won't have to look at the screen another chapter down that was a really intense hour of editing Ooh, i was in it like i feel like the last clip i was like oh my gosh my concentration i feel like when i'm in it i'm in it i'm in it i'm just mm. um yeah i used the Read aloud feature in Word, very, very helpful. Really helpful, oh my guys, so helpful with editing to hear. It's not even flow, because I feel like the flow was pretty good. It's just the occasional phrase where you're like, mm? oh, I could say that clearer. And it's so different to reading it, because obviously you wrote it, so you're used to seeing those words on the page, but listening to them is so different. It's like an audiobook. Um, even though the voice is a little bit like robotic, it's actually not that bad, it's, pr it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, how many chapters are left now? Um, one. <gasps> Shut the front door. No, wait, hang on. <laughs> two, 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 two. I keep adding extra chapters, so technically, I could say, no, I can't be other than those. Two. Oh, okay, so three chapters down, two to go. One is one that needs to be edited and one is one that needs to be written. It's 1.11 p.m. So I don't think I'm gonna get it finished before two, but what I'm gonna do is just listen to this chapter um, because, 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 there's two ways in which I can write this chapter and I don't know which way to go with yet. So, we're gonna see, my brain feels full, man. But the time's gone quite quick. It's really incredible the amount of stuff you can do when you sit and force yourself to do it. So yeah, basically, it's long, it's long. Um, yeah, and I don't know which way to write it, so I'm just gonna listen to it and see if, you know, just gonna listen. Gonna listen and pray God just drops in some knowledge as to how to write this because, I don't know. It could be done. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> and it's two. <laughs> you know what? Maya Angelou's writing routine is a whole day, like, commitment. Because even though she's like, I finish working at two, she comes back from the hotel, reads over everything she's done, and then she has a bit of a break. She has a shower, she cooks dinner. And then she reads it again to her husband. It's a full day of listening and editing and writing and thinking. Um, I mean, which showed in her incredible work. If you don't know, Maya Angelou is one of my favourite poets. Love her! Um, so if you haven't read anything by her, please, please do. Love her poetry. And um, yeah, she's also written like some sort of memoirs. I should read them. Considering I'm reading memoirs at the moment and writing one, like um, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, for example. Ooh, yeah, I should read them. Mm -hmm. But yes, anyway, I was just saying that it's deceptively early finishing, but then also like not. So I'm going to give myself like a 15 minute break and then I'm going to read over what I wrote today. Oh, my brain feels so full. I'm tired. I'm tired. But I'm gonna read over what I wrote today and then shower, dinner, read to my husband. <laughs> Lol. I just realized though that as it is past two o'clock, I don't need to be in this room anymore. So um let's just start moving the things out of this room. Cause I'm so tempted to be like, I did it day one, but it's like, no. <laughs> there is more. But wait, there's more. What does that remind me of? Did you guys ever watch Horrible Histories? And there's, I think it, 
there was like this funny like weather guy who was like but not for long <laughs> also really reminds me of, it was a different guy but he's like hi i'm a shouty man hi i'm a shouty man okay so important question i want to know when maya has lunch what about elevensies luncheon afternoon tea dinner supper he knows about them doesn't he I'm gonna say Maya. I wanna know when Maya Angelo has lunch because oh, there was nothing about lunch in her routine. She kind of just spoke about dinner and even breakfast, she just said a cup of coffee. So when when was lunch? Because it's 2.23. <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to start reading over at 2.30. Being alive right in tonight, I think it's at 7.30. I have about an hour and 20 minutes to see how many words I can get. So after she rereads what she's done for the day, Maya Angelou then tries to put the writing out of her mind. So that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, what is that? Mixed fruit. <sighs> okay, I just had a moment Oh no, that I really want to talk to y'all about. I was just watching a video, um, and in the video, and she was talking about a weekend and how, and I've heard her talk about this before, and basically about how she wants to make sure weekends are a thing for her because weekends previously were not a thing. And I've always watched that, I've heard her speak about it, I've been like, lol, yes, girl, take those weekends because um, as a freelancer, um, especially like, when you're someone who makes your own hours like a lot of the time that i do unless you know it's acting related then i don't choose necessarily those hours but you can work till whenever so if you want to work all the time seven days a week you can do it but as the bible says i can do all things but not all things are beneficial right um anyway i've watched her say this so many times been like yeah yeah, yeah. and i just suddenly hit me like oh my gosh weekends they're a thing. Weekends are a thing. And it just hit me like, oh, lots of people who do the nine to five will work Monday to Friday and then have a weekend off. And I just realized that I don't necessarily do that. And it's so funny to me because recently I was thinking about how it almost feels like, because I take one day a week off and it almost feels like I need two days to rest, relax and rejuvenate. But I was feeling so guilty. I was like, can you, this is this was my headspace how can you take two days off that's i was thinking it's too much rest it's too much time off now i'm like wait loads of people have weekends off i just never thought about that that for a lot of people weekends are a thing that they take off i don't know <laughs> i don't know how that's i've only just clocked and i don't know why and i'm like huh oh, i don't wow so i'm, I'm going to think about that more maybe I do take two days off. <laughs> I've always just taken one day off a week and that felt very doable for a long time and it is very doable um, and I'm sure there's lots of people out there who take one day off or perhaps no days off. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to talk about anyone's situation. I'm just saying that maybe for a little bit I'll do two days off and five days on. Hmm. Remind me to talk about this again in an upcoming video. I'll let you know how I've done, whether I've done it or not. 